This is a video about the Space Shuttle Challenger and the ethical issues that surrounded the explosion of the Challenger. The first question that I wanted to talk about was what could NASA have done differently in regards to the Space Shuttle? Um, NASA, from what I read, was made aware of the O-ring issues as early as 1977, and the Challenger did not um, take off until 1986. So they had the better part of a decade to come up with a better solution for the O-rings. Um, the other concerns that caused even more issues with the O-rings was the weather. Um, they decided to push back their um, takeoff due to weather issues, but then decided they needed to have it up in the air in January. And typically in January and February, that wouldn't have been an issue, but um, temperatures were expected to get down to 20 degrees. Um, and the O-rings had only been tested to be working at down to 40 degrees. So they made the decision to do it anyway, even though the issues were made more prevalent at lower degrees. And then it didn't get down to 20 degrees, it got down to 8 degrees, which is a lot colder. Um, and then they formed ice when they were trying to make sure that um, things wouldn't freeze. They were um, spraying water on them. And it just seems like every single thing they did was the opposite of what they should have done. They um, made everything much worse. Every solution they had seemed to have make the... Um, issues with the o-ring worse and worse until they may as well have not even been there um i think that nasa could have stopped the liftoff altogether due to the safety concerns that were um told to them and they probably would have lost funding but they wouldn't have lost lives and the world we live in now, money is uh, seems to always be worth more than a human life. Roger Boyce Jolie, I'm not sure I'm saying that right. He wasn't a manager, so there wasn't much he could do beyond telling his managers. Um, so he didn't have the final say on whether or not the um, challenger should take off or not. Um, I'm not sure if he, he probably did sign some non-disclosures so that he wouldn't become a whistleblower or something. But if it had become, if it was a big enough issue, he probably should have, um, gone public with it. And yes, he was an older man and he had a family he needed to provide for, but his family wasn't more important than the astronauts and their families. Um, dilemmas are obviously they're difficult and sometimes making the right choice isn't easy and there are not the greatest consequences for you or your family. Um, the future of engineering in relation to management and loyalty. I don't think that a person is required to be loyal to their job because their jobs are not loyal to them. You want to have some loyalty, but when push comes to shove, your employer will not think twice to let go, let you go if they have to. So if there's a big enough issue like the O-ring and you need to make a decision, your employer would choose to get rid of you regardless of if you're saving somebody's life or not. And that's, I don't think that you should be loyal to a company if they're not loyal to you and they're, they're not loyal. So I think that there is more importance in protecting the public welfare than there is in being loyal to management.